Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Kick and Push. My name is Alex, health fitness specialist at the McLean location. Happy Tuesday to you all. We got one more day, one more day to put in, and then we finally get to Thanksgiving, all right? So go ahead, grab your uh, water and your towel. You won't need uh, too much weight today. Definitely have some available if you would like to make some of the moves more challenging, but it's not required, all right? So for today, we got a little bit of a different format. We're gonna have an EMOM, which is going to be every minute on the minute. So for uh, one minute, we will do one exercise. We'll have a 10 second transition time and then go for another minute for another exercise. So we're still gonna follow that alternating, uh, uh, the alternating tempo as far as going from legs to core. Um, and then we're just gonna add in that EMOM. So that same, general format, legs, core, legs, core, legs, then back to the top. Uh, but we're just doing it inside of an EMOM today. Okay, so again, that's every minute on the minute, 10 seconds of transition time between moves, all right? So check out the description to see the moves that we'll be doing. We're gonna be able to make it through four rounds today, uh, totaling 20 minutes of work, Five minutes for the warm up, five minutes for the cool down. That's our 30 minute class right there. All right. So, uh, again, four, four times around is what we're going to do with the uh, moves that are inside of the EMA. All right. So, nice and easy to understand, hopefully. All right, so we've got five moves we're gonna be doing, again, in the alternating schematic, legs, core, legs, core, legs, all right? So uh, the move that I will suggest or recommend you use weight for is the first and the uh, last. So the first move is the RDL. So we have an RDL with a squat or a lunge. If you don't have weights and you don't want to do the RDL because you don't have weights, just stick with the squats and the lunges. If you do have the weights, choose the RDL, and then you can choose the uh, squats or the lunges. Or if you just wanna do squats and lunges or one of those three, go for it. All right, whatever you feel like will give you the best work or whatever you feel like you can handle right now. Go for that, all right? And then the second move you can use the weight with is the uh, frog pumps with abduction. All right, so if you have a band, you can use a band to put around your knees uh, to help resist you when you go to do the abduction. All right, so of course, all these exercises I'll be demonstrating for you all, that 10 second transition period, the first one we'll go through. Um, hopefully you can follow me quickly, so that way you can go ahead and just get right into the move. All right, also we'll be moving a little a little fast. All right, we're gonna have a break. We're gonna have a minute break after each, uh, uh, or if you need to take a minute break, you'll take your break after each interval of or after each set of five exercises. All right, so after we go through all the exercises, you can take a break if you need to. Uh, I don't plan on that, but that is gonna be when you take a break if you need to take a break. All right, try to try to not take a break past 60 seconds long, okay? So the goal is to just continually move through this workout. Of course, again, you can take breaks if you need to, but if you can, do your best to keep moving. It's hard to fit a lot of stuff inside of 30 minutes, so the best thing for you to do is to keep moving. That's why all the classes I try to just continue to have us moving, all right? So let's get warmed up. Yeah, right, just gonna start off with some air squats. <sighs> nice and easy. Remember that first move is RDO with squats and lunges or just squats, just lunges, or just RDLs. All right, so if you have the weights, go do the RDL, you'll choose to add in a squat or a lunge. All right, let's go right into some lunges. If you wanna go forward, you can go forward. If you wanna go back, you can go back. You don't have to tap the knee. You can get close, but you don't have to tap. All right, go 
go ahead, walk yourself out. If you have a mat, walk out to the end of the mat. I'm gonna bring that leg, right leg up and rotate and switch. You got five repetitions on each side. Follow your eyes around or your hand around with your eyes to help get as much rotation as you can through the shoulders and through the back. Last one on both sides. Go ahead, come to a high plank. I'm gonna push right back. Draw the butt toward the heels. Go for 10 reps. And go ahead, walk yourself up. I'm gonna come into some pyramid poses. So get your left or right foot in line with your left or your right heel or your left heel. I got my right leg out front. Left toe is in line with the right heel. So I'm gonna do now is just squat down, come up. Half lunge and come up. Got 10 repetitions on both sides. Slightly modified pyramid pose from yoga. switch. If you need to open your stance a little bit wider, you can bring your foot back further more if you need to. Keep the back straight. Try not to fold down too much. Really trying to prep for the RDLs. Two more. All right, so we are ready to go. All right, so one more time, every minute on the minute. All right, so clock's gonna be moving fast. We've got 10 seconds of transition time and I will demonstrate as quickly and as clearly as I can. The clock's not gonna stop. So after you go through each Move, there's five of them. If you need to take a break, you can take a break, all right? Then you can just continue to go uh, with with me since I'll be counting the time, keeping track of the time uh, for one minute at a time. You don't have to worry about doing it yourself. Just follow along and uh, start your minutes whenever I start. Stop your minutes whenever I stop. Just use my time to help keep yourself on track. Even if we're at different moves, just use my time to help keep yourself on track, okay? All right, only moves you need weight for if you're gonna use them, first and last, all right? Other than that, you can use body weight, all right? Here we go. Starting off with the RDL, squat, or lunge. Okay, let's go. It's RDL. I'm going with the squat. So you're pushing the butt back. Hinging at the hips. If you want to, you can add in the lunge. And go do the RDL. You want to keep the weights close to your thighs, close to your legs. Push your butt back. Drop your chest. Push your chest toward your knees. You should feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Once you can't push your back, your butt back anymore, that's when you want to come up. All right. So we've got straight sit-ups on the floor, 
Straighten your legs out, or you can bend them. Sit up. All right, let's go. Again, you can bend your knees. You can hold the weight. Exhale as you come up. And control your descent. Don't just flop back. Your descent should be slower than when you come up. If you want to place your hands behind your head or your fingers on your temples, or if you just want to place your arms in the air, go for it. All right, next up, we're back on the legs. We've got the hip flexor raise, so you're gonna stay seated. All right, 10 seconds. So hip flexor raise, you're coming from a seated position. You're either gonna lift your leg straight up and down or bend it. All right, so if you're bending, you're lifting your heel off the ground, bringing the foot in, extending it, dropping it back down. Alternate each leg. So if you're doing the straight leg raises, Alternate left and right. If you're doing the bent leg, you're gonna bring the right in, drop, bring the other. If you need to support yourself by bringing your hands behind you, you can. Otherwise, see if you can challenge yourself by sitting up on your own. And each time you lift that leg, keep the torso nice and tight or upright. All right, brace out your core to help Avoid folding over when you lift your leg. Breathe and take your time. 10 seconds. We're going back on the legs after this. Uh, what do we have? I know we've got London Bridges. Flip over, low plank, London Bridges. You're going to roll your hips to one side, back to the other. All right, let's go. So take your time. You'll need to adjust your feet throughout. That's perfectly normal. That's okay. And if you need to take a break here, you can either just go to the high plank and hold the plank or just take a break and drop your knees right here. Either or is okay. Go for smooth movement. As smooth as you can get it. Make sure you're breathing. Hip thrusts. All right, next and progress thrust. So instead of doing a regular hip thrust, which you can do, open the feet out. You're on the sides of your feet. You're going to lift, bring the legs in, open back out, drop. So lift, drop, lift, in, out, drop. If you have a resistance band, you can put it around your knees to make this move a little bit more challenging. <sighs> Hitting the glutes, hamstrings, adductors, and the abductors. <sighs> We're going back to the top after this. If you need to take a break, take a break. I need to reset my timer the proper way, so we will get a slightly longer break here. Okay. All right, so here we go, back to the top. Break time's over, unless you, unless you really need it. Back to the RDLs and the squats, or the RDLs and lunges. Number 
push the butt back. You don't need to keep your knees straight. You want to have a slight bend in the knee. Drop the weight down toward the floor. Remember to keep that torso nice and flat. Push the chest toward the knees to help keep the torso aligned. We got straight sit-ups coming up. All right, on the floor, back to the straight sit-up. If you want to add in the weight, you can. Right. Make sure the descent is slower than when you come up. Make sure you breathe, max your breathing with your movement. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you come down. Got the London Bridges, or not the London Bridges, we've got the uh, uh, leg raises. Here we go. Hip flexor raises, hip flexor raises. So again, alternating, keep the torso braced so that you don't lean forward after each lift. And you can bring the knee in and then extend the leg back out. That's your modification. So just like the sit up, when you come, bring your back down to the mat, nice and slow. Let your foot back down to the mat nice and slow here. With control, set it down nice and softly. You can use your arms for support by bringing them beside you or behind you. Less than 10 seconds, we got the London Bridges after this. Again, your modification is to hold that low or high plank if you get tired. Take your time dropping those hips. Don't want to fatigue yourself. You want to make sure you get a good stretch on your obliques. You should feel that the lower you get to the floor. Next thing we got here, frog pumps. Frog pumps, so on the sides of your feet and open, down, up, closed, open, down. get my band. We 
we're back to the top after this round. Again, if you need to take a break, you can. Otherwise, we're back to the RDLs and the squats and lunges. This is round three coming up. We've just got four. All right, so we're almost there. We're halfway there. Okay. Back to the top, back to the top. If you're doing the RDLs, again, choose to add in, if you like to, you can choose to add in a squat or a lunge. I did squats the first time, I did lunges the second time, back to squats. I'll go back to lunges on the last round. We've got 20 seconds left. We've got straight sit-ups coming up. All right, straight sit-ups, straight sit-ups. Sync up the breathing. guys keep it up continue to make that descent longer than the ascent got the hip flexor raise hip flexor raise coming up If you have ankle weights, forgot to mention, if you have ankle weights and you think this is too easy, add the ankle weights. Lift them with that hip flexor, squeeze the quad to keep the leg straight, lift, slowly drop. should definitely begin to burn. London Bridge is coming up, 10 seconds. Whew, that burns, all right. Let's go. Get your hips as close as you can to the floor. If you can't actually touch the floor, that's okay. Just get as close as you can. Less than 15 seconds. All 
right. Whew. We got the abduction. Uh, I don't know where my band is, but I'm gonna keep going. Abduction with the frog pump. Keep it up guys, come on. We got one more round after this. Ooh, this burns. Back to the top. Ah, last round. Last round. Back to the top. RDLs and squats or lunges. Whew. All right. I'm supposed to be doing lunges. Ah. Take your time doing those RDLs. Don't rush them. Push the butt back. Push the chest toward the knees. Whew. Almost there, y'all. Last one. Definitely tired. Less than 10 seconds. All right. Straight set up. Keep the integrity high, as high as you can get it, y'all. Don't lose it, don't lose it now. If you had weight and you need to drop the weight, that's okay, drop the weight. Do what you can to safely keep moving. Lift with your abs, not with your hip flexors. That's also why the legs are straight. Trying to take the hip flexor out of it, especially since we go right to it on the next move. All right, we got that hip flexor raise coming up. Try not to crunch every time you lift your leg. So don't lean forward, don't hunch yourself forward. Keep your posture nice and upright. Take care of your core. And you'll execute the move properly. And it's okay if you can't get the leg up very high. We're already sitting in a flexed position. So we've removed a lot of the range of motion by sitting up in this, in this manner. Whew. London Bridges, London Bridges. One more move after that, we're done. Here we go. All right. We 
You got it, guys. Keep it up. We've got frog pumps after this. Oh God. Whew, feel that in my obliques, big time. Last move, frog pumps with the abduction, let's go. Bring those heels in as close as you can to your butt. Last one, y'all. Come on, keep it up. Keep it up. Try to keep your knees as wide as you can. Catch your breath, shake it out. Good job, guys. That was a good one. All right. I need some water. All right, so go ahead, take a seat on the floor. Did a little bit of extra work yesterday with the legs just to prepare for today. Definitely feeling it now. Alright, just come down to your back. Gonna lean the knees to one side. If you have space, you can extend your arms. If not, you can just keep them bent. It's okay. Just try to relax your legs. Turn to the side your legs are on. This will be my left side. And return your shoulders back flat on the ground. Let the legs and the pelvis go limp. Try that one more time. Bring it, your shoulders to the same side. Open back up. Let the legs go limp. It's okay if your knees come up, just hold it down. And we're gonna switch to the other side. Bring the knees to the other side. Bring the shoulders on the same side as the knees and open up. Make sure you're breathing. Again, let the lower body go limp. You can place your hand on top of your top thigh so it does not come up. 
two more times. Bring those shoulders on over and open up. One more time. Bring the legs back to center. Sit up. Straighten the left leg out. Bring the right leg across. Pull it into your body. We're going to stretch out the glute. and switch straighten out the right leg bring the left leg up and over the right leg pull it into your body make sure you're sitting up nice and tall so pushing your chest into your knees Go ahead, bring your right heel to your right glute, loop it around and lean back. You can slightly squeeze the glute a little bit to feel a little bit more stretch coming through the upper quad toward the hip flexor. And if you can, you can bring both elbows down. switch move in and out of your positions nice and slowly smooth as you can It's not too late, just a couple announcements. It's not too late to start the Maintain Don't Gain program. It's through January. We just started last week, going through January, first week in January. So plenty of time to get on that train. Check out the Slack page, the Facebook page for more on the program. And come up and relax. It's just an accountability program to help you maintain whatever momentum you had moving toward your fitness goals through the holidays. I'm gonna come through to a butterfly stretch, butterfly stretch. We also just uh, will be doing a, just tomorrow you'll see the post, but we're gonna be uh, posting a promo for personal training, 10% uh, off any package. All right, so that'll be on, uh, that'll take place on next Monday, which is Cyber Monday, but we'll be posting about it in the Slack channel and on Facebook tomorrow. Go ahead, come to your feet with a hamstring stretch, and we'll be out of here. So just bring the feet together, come down, push the chest toward the knees. You can put your fingers under your toes and kind of pull yourself down a little bit more. Squeeze the quads.
Big breath, slowly come up. And that is our class for today. So thank you all for joining me. Again, my name is Alex. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see y'all on the next class next week. Holla.